Hi guys, how you doing? Saturday, June 15th, I am leaving on a 10-day trip to Massachusetts. Well, most of the time I'm going to be in Massachusetts. I'm just driving up, visiting family. I have five new babies to meet that are in my family. I have a really big family, like 60 people. So I have a lot of visiting to do. Doug isn't going, he has to work. And I'm also not bringing Bella because I have to stop really quite often with her when we're driving with her. She has to pee. And you have a little bit of notice, she'll tell you she's got to go. And if you don't stop, she'll just go in the bed. And also, she, she rarely has accidents, but still, she still does sometimes, especially at other people's houses. So I'm going to be at different people's houses, and usually I just have to carry her around so she doesn't have an accident. So that's another problem. I want to be, you know, visiting different people. It's just, it's just going to be so much easier if she stays home. So she'll stay home with Doug this time, this trip. She's not going to be happy about it, but she'll survive. So I had the realization that I am going to be having to transport my kids mostly. We're going to be doing some hiking and stuff. So I'll need to have my back seats open and the floor space in the back seats. So I've created a much more minimal setup than I usually would for camping. I won't be doing any camping, so I don't need all the camping gear and all that in my outside toilet and everything. So I've created a very minimal setup. I'll make a video on everything that I'm bringing next time. I got a piece of high density foam off Amazon. It's four by four inches thick by 36 inches wide by 72. I did cut about two and a half inches off the length. So, but the, I like the width of the 36 inches. I did cut it to form around the, the curve in the Prius. So I'll show you that. That way I needed to be able to roll it up and store it in the back so I could so I could bring people so let me show you what it looks like Doug made this cool sofa table isn't that nice okay. that's all the stuff from the Prius what do you think, Bella? So last night I tried to test it out, sleep on it, but it was so hard. It was really hard for me to uh, fall asleep. And then I woke up at 4.30 and got into bed with Doug. But I think every night before I leave, I leave in one week from today, I will just try to spend as much time on it as I can. You definitely can't get on your side. It's just too hard, which is what I, how I usually sleep, but I really... Bella knows this is going with me. And <laughs> you afraid I'm going to leave you behind? Because I am going to leave you behind. Sorry. Hey, cutie. <laughs> it feels comfortable when you first lay on it. Very supportive. But I'm just not used to it because we have a cushy memory foam mattress. But supposedly this is supposed to be good for you, you know, to have a little firmer surface. So, And I've heard that you do get used to it. So that's my... I have to train myself to sleep on my back more and just get used to it. Up by the shoulders, it's still 36 inches. I just cut it out around more the hips. There's the drawbridge that I created to support the head of the bed. Hooks to the headrest bars. And I left it open so it could vent. That's that cooling blanket I got a while back. That's actually really comfortable. Hopefully that's all I need. I'll bring an extra one. Now I'll show you we have to to fold it up so it'll fit in the back. I've got to remove the pillows. I probably will need somebody to help me just to hold it. It'll be a little bit easier. So, But if I'm transporting somebody, then, then I will have somebody with me. So you can help me fold this up in three. And Doug loaned me those ratchet straps that I should have taken off first and slid underneath. Put the seats up, and those ratchet straps will uh, hook to the headrests. 
And then the Prius has some tie downs in the back that I hooked the other end to. And then you just tighten up the straps. And I can, if you tighten it enough, it'll push it down so I can still see out the back while I'm driving. Most of the time I'll just leave the bed set up. I'll only have to do this if I have more than one person with me. And there should still be some room I could put my pillows to the left of it. Everything else will go in the cargo box. All the links will be in the description and check out my Amazon store. Thanks for watching.